What's going on, everybody? It's another edition of the NRW Checkpoint with, you know, your host, myself, Webster Style. And of course, I'm always joined by Brian Sav. Brian, how are you doing today? Doing okay. Yourself? Doing well, Mr. Talk and Play Blur cast himself. <laughs> we got a doozy of a gaggle of games today. Uh, first up, <laughs> let's start with Goodbye Volcano High is dropping on the PS4, 5, and yep. PC. It's an adventure game from KOOP. So in Goodbye Volcano High, it's a game set in a world of anthropomorphic animals. The player character is Fang, a teenage dinosaur about to finish high school, trying to understand themselves and deal with various life problems. The game tackles profound themes of identity and transition as the characters navigate their final years of high school, the story's themes of our love, growing up, and change. Okay, so our, we li- we are reliving our high school experience through the eyes of anthropomorphic dinosaurs. Okay, yeah, pretty much. I think okay. I think that's what the kids like these days: dinosaurs and things. So, right. <laughs> I feel like I don't know if that's for the kids. I feel like that's for. <laughs> Like Gen Xers reliving their high school days, wanting to go back because they they tired of bills and kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> work. I can agree. I, I I feel like I feel like that's everybody. I, I well, I can't say I want to go back to high school. High school was a good time. I had I enjoyed time. myself. Same, but um, I like being an adult. The bills are not fun. No, they're no. not fun. But what I've come to realize as an adult is um, it's literally what you make of it. Like your choices decide whether or not you're going to have a good adulthood or you're going to be, you know, suffering. So, you know, you do that as you will. Um, Whoever plays volcano high, maybe, maybe they'll impart that kind of lesson within the game. It sounds interesting. Yeah, it does. We are watching the trailer. So it'll be interesting to see what it's all about. Um, Yeah, I agree. Okay. Next up, we have a sequel to a game that I never knew was coming out. (laughs) If you you remember the Dreamcast, the Dreamcast was known for having games with very wacky controllers. We had Mm -hmm. um, our fishing rod with bass fishing. Uh, We had the little microphone attachment with semen. And of course, we cannot forget the maracas that came with Sama de Amigo. Well, Samba de Amigo has gotten a sequel on the Switch, and it is Samba de Amigo Party Central. The game is a sequel to Samba de Amigo, as I've already said, and um, it's one where players shake their controllers like a maraca on time with the shapes on the screen. In contrast to its predecessor, the game has less focus on Latin music and more on popular music genres in general so it's a it's basically it's taking what samba d'amigo and cross it with less dance yeah that's what it sounds like so which it's not a bad cross now no not at all but we're not watching the trailer because i think everybody gets the gist of how that game plays (laughs) (laughs) right right (laughs) it sounds Uh, cool though i like when they do those type of games like that very it does. It does. Me too. Some of me goes one of those series that for some reason has persisted for twenty plus years now. Because Dreamcast yeah. came out in ninety nine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and shout out to Sega for being ahead of their time. Man, yeah. they did have some crazy attachments for the little Dreamcast. Oh yeah, I remember those things. What was the little screen you could plug it? You plug it into oh, the uh, the box with uh, a virtual uh, memory card. Yeah. Dude, let me tell you, <laughs> Dreamcast, like I used to take my VMU to class with me and just like what? feed my child and whatnot <laughs> for Sonic Adventure, like while I'm in class or throughout my day when I was in college. Like I remember that distinctly doing it because it was just, it was so fun and cool. And then there were like Smart. other games. I forget there were a couple other games which you could download like a mini game onto the VMU. Mm-hmm. Like that was that was such a novel innovation. I, it was. I, and I don't remember the price of them, but they weren't super expensive either for what no, they were. No, it wasn't. Because you kind of, you almost needed them a little bit because they doubled as like memory cards sometimes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they were memory cards as well. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, shout out to Sega, Sega for that one. 
Yeah. Uh, next up is a game that harkens back to that 16-bit era uh, inspired by old-school RPGs like Kona Trigger. We have Sea of Stars, and it's out on a PS4, 5, Xbox One, S, X, PC, and Switch. But also, and this is, I believe, is the first game to ever debut on both Game Pass as well as PS Plus. I think it's uh, the middle tier. Um, okay, so day one. Extra. Excuse me, yes, actually, day one at the same time. Really? Yes. So okay. everybody on the subscription service is getting this for free except for Switch. Is that why they're raising the price of them uh, PlayStation look, Plus? Look, I ain't even talk about that. So, no, like, <laughs> we'll leave that alone. I'm but, upset. <laughs> look, there are enough go. people who land fast in Sony for that one today. Right. <laughs> But this is an RPG from Sabachar Studios. So Sea of Stars is a turn-based RPG inspired by the classics. It tells the story of two children of the solstice who will combine the powers of the sun and moon to perform eclipse magic. The only force capable of fending off the monstrous creators of the evil alchemist known as the Flesh Mancer. Now, I will say, I have not played this game, but I played the demo. Okay. And I think you could probably did a demo too. Well, we both have Game Pass and PS Plus. So, I mean, I'll be playing this game, the full version this yeah. weekend. I, I th- am totally like enamored with this game, just playing through the demo the other night. And I was like, this is just really, it's so, it's modern, but it's old school at the same time. And okay. apparently on day one, which was, mm-hmm. I think today, they already sold 100,000 copies. I bet. I saw a lot of like positive reviews about this game. I'm very, very interested. I didn't know it was like on all of the systems or that it was coming to PlayStation Plus. Yeah. But I mean, why not? Yeah, exactly. Turn based RPG, you know, that's my thing there. Yeah, so yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm definitely trying to see what this is about. They have a demo as yeah. well as a full game. They have one on okay. Xbox, but I'm assuming there's one on the PlayStation as well. It would make sense to be there. Right. Okay. So. I'm going to look into that tonight. Yeah, it was it was fun to play. I, I recorded some gameplay, so you'll be seeing some of that online as well. Okay. So, all right. Next up, we have Under the Wave, which is PS4, 5, Xbox One, SX, and PC, an adventure game from Parallel Studio as the developer and Spotlight by Quantic dream as the developer as the publisher and I actually like that name for a, a publisher so <laughs> under the waves is a narrative driven adventure game about the engulfing power of grief the game is set in the depths of the north sea in the techno futuristic 1970s and it follows the story of professor Di- professional diver stan who is struggling to overcome a life-changing loss and embrace a new future okay. i'm really loving the use of games as a medium to tell real stories. Yeah. I always say like, I don't know. RPGs, especially Mm -hmm. they are like, I don't know. I feel like they're just important overall to media because they, they are, they telling stories that you wouldn't necessarily get out of a book or a magazine or, right. you know, like I, I, this, this is a, it's an important medium to like really um, convey people's like feelings and emotions towards certain things. Right. I, and I like the stories that are being told. I would much rather right. play a book than read one. Right. So, <laughs> right. so rpgs are like doing their job especially they coming with these unique like kind of innovative stories that are good enough to be turned into tv series and movies yes. and things like that like people sleep on the rpgs but they, they got it yeah i agree i agree and last up is, is is a series i feel like i've heard of but i've never really looked into and that is Trend 5, a clockwork conspiracy on the PS4, 5, Xbox One, SX, Switch, and PC. It's a platforming game uh, from developer Frozen Byte and publisher THQ Nordic. Trend 5, a clockwork conspiracy, will take Amadeus the Wizard, Zoya the Thief, and Pointus the Knight on their most action-packed journey yet. With their reputations tarnished, loved ones in danger, and their own magical powers at stake, the heroes of Trine must reunite to push back a fearsome clockwork army and bring peace and justice to the land. Hmm. 
So that sounds interesting. It does. That's a platform. Yes. Well, we're going to take a look at that. But first up, we're taking a look at Sea of Stars. Less. That, like, you really hear from this this trailer uh, sound effects is just so much point. Yeah, Footsteps, I was just about to water splashing. Yeah. Um, I, I love the battle system as well. Even fish in the game, with fish to food to kill people. Okay. I you'll definitely like like it. I think that's definitely right up your alley. Okay, and it's so vibrant and beautiful too. Me, I think I'm gonna have to download that. Yeah. Wait. Okay. When we finish. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's uh. That just looks like a good like. It looked like it has a level of difficulty to it, but it looked like it's also a level like some type of peace and ease to it. That's just what I get from it. Yeah. And it, I agree with you. It is very colorful and vibrant. I do pick that. I did pick up on those like sound effects and things like that. I'm just, yeah, I'm going to check that out. Because... Right, so yeah, I agree. So next up, we have Under the Sea. <laughs> Good morning, Under the Stanley. It yeah. is 7.32 a.m. I hope you have a productive day. Jane, use a name to just stand. I'm getting very... Justin, morning, wake up. Good Still... morning, just stand. Base to Capital 12, come in. You there, stand. Oh, the West Anderson movie? Green across the board. Looks uh, like we're good. I oh, forget. But this is a good movie. movie. Definitely a lake here, Tim. <laughs> How long has it been now? Three years, two months, and 17 days. Since when? So if I've been like water? Down here. They shouldn't be here. Someone there? This doesn't make sense. Someone else down here. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. That that definitely seems like a not just grief, but an exploration and isolation as well. Yeah, because <laughs> to be underwater for how many years? It's like two. Years. I think it said three. Okay. Yeah, it's a. It got me at about thirty seconds. I'm ready to come exactly. back to land. Exactly. <laughs> I need some land, wow. need some sunlight. I need to take this helmet off. Right. Exactly. Right. And it's interesting because. This says the game is set in a techno futuristic 1970s, right. which, you know, the 70s are anything but futuristic. Right. So I'm, I'm interested to see how those two opposites, you know, combine. I, I don't get futuristic from the 70s, but, you know, I guess 
I guess the seventies would be futuristic to like the fifties, or <laughs> I guess I don't know, but you get what I'm saying. I totally Listen agree. To All right, next up we have Goodbye Volcano High. Let's go back to high school, Brian. <laughs> With the dinosaurs this time. <laughs> Everybody was in the one man. <laughs> so, big day, class president's speech at the assembly. In light of the whole space rock potential demise of civilization thing, my chosen theme feels off. What's the theme? Using this year to um, make an impact? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Are you okay? You've come into this year kind of intense with the band stuff. The band is important. Why did she have to just leave? I said it was an emergency. You did, and it is to you. Weird how everyone's acting like nothing is different. But to me, everything feels different now. We've always done what you wanted to do, and that's fine. But there's only so much time we have left. How are we supposed to just be fine? Yeah, I remember asking them same questions. <laughs> I, I felt just like I just watched like the trailer for some teen angst yeah. movie or TV show. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Good they did job. a really good job. Yeah. Even the little uh bits of gameplay there with the you know the action buttons or whatever you press to get things moving. Yeah, it was very like unique. That. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, very. I mean, this put me in a weird place. I don't know if I want to play that game. Right. Well, I, back I, think I, I would want to watch it. It seems like a yeah, good yeah. show, so I want to watch it. Yes, there you go. Play. <laughs> It's a little bit too close to going back. Well, look, look for cool me, though. that that seems far away from my high school experience. Oh, okay. So, I mean, you don't think I, I, I graduated from high school 26, 27 years ago now? So, yeah. It's, it's, oh, okay, yeah. It's like ancient in, in modern times. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's normal. People just exaggerate when it comes to time. No, look, technology-wise, it's ancient. Oh, yeah. Now, see... Technology wise, you Look, didn't exist. We had beepers in high school, okay? When I was which is school. crazy. Right. Which is crazy because we have razors and those are like ancient now. Right. Oh exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I remember when the first Android phone came, like the very first Google yep. Android the phone. Google came G1. Out. Yes. My, my spouse it's, had it. Yep. It was mm. revolutionary. Yep. <laughs> now <laughs> yes. wow okay all right last but not least we have trend five a clockwork conspiracy the astral academy is ours well done now we can proceed to the next step in our plans it is time to take care of the heroes of Trine. Trine, not Trine, I was so pronounced. This is a story about the <laughs> fabled heroes of Trine and their struggle against their worst enemy yet. For dark and ruthless powers were weaving their webs in secret. Why am I just heard about this? <laughs> they have my children! Lady Sunny, that cursed monster! And what's stopping me from firing an arrow through your lying face? Like My kingdom will have no use for the remnants of the old one. Not the wizards, nor the heroes. Coming this summer. Oh, okay. clearly two of these games were delayed. Right. <laughs> well, technically, this is the summer, but I think uh, what Cowboy, not Cowboy, not Cowboy. I'm um, thinking about what we just quoted earlier. Uh, Goodbye, right. Rokin and Hyde. They had like a June 15th or something date on the trailer we saw. So it certainly got pushed back. But 
How have I not heard of the trying games before? That looked pretty cool. I don't cool. know. Me either. I'm, I'm sitting here wondering that as well. It looks great, though. Yeah. Like, I'm looking at this. I'm like, okay, this is definitely a platformer. I see the um, Metroidvania style platforming going on. But just the design of it, it looks almost 2D5. Or yeah, 3D, yeah, yeah, 2.5D. Yeah, 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 it does. But it, but it looks good. Uh, story is interesting enough. The voice acting is good. Definitely say that. Um, I'm interested. Where is this coming out? Tron. Yeah, and no, why I didn't I'm, hear about the first four? Yeah, I'm. I'm. This is the fifth game, and I am <laughs> not familiar with this series whatsoever. So, right. Well, now mm-hmm. I am, so I have no excuses anymore. And it's on everything. Yep, everything, literally. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, uh, Brian, mm-hmm. what, what's going on with you this week, man? Um. Nothing. Oh well. Okay, so I'm I'm about to put out probably sometime in the next twelve hours, releasing a a uh, album review for Travis Scott's Utopia album over on the Talk of Play Blurry Cast, and then um, next week got a regular episode. Some things have been happening. Um, R.I.P. to Bob Barker. Right, right now, why I got it on my head because. The price was always right when he was on it. These other hosts, I don't know. But Bob, he had it. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff happening, stuff going on in the gaming space this, that I'm uh, interested in discussing. More new music, um, which I've, I'm about to complete the last mission of Marvel's Midnight Sun, so I'm excited to play that, finish out the story, see how it ends. Um TV, I've been watching. Oh, I just finished the Upshaws part four, which I feel like that series is going under the radar. People need to know how good that show is. It's very funny and it's very black and it's very um 90s, early 2000s sitcom. It, but but for today, just a bunch of stuff, you know, my regular headlines, game chat, playlist, and watch list in the episode. That's pretty much it. I'm really doing anything else other than you know being here discussing the newest games come out over the past week what about this what do you have going on uh it's been a light week this week uh episode 160 of the sartori geek podcast dropped so i talked about sea of stars as we talked about earlier Mm -hmm. um i I gave more of my opinions on uh playstation portal i talked about (laughs) uh, how we lost uh bray wyatt aka winning rotunda uh wrestler and then my interview okay. with uh, George Zaharov dropped as far as the audio version, uh, maker of Zaharov uh, perfumes, uh, fragrances. So also dropped a uh, whole bunch of game bites over between uh, my channel as well as uh, NRW. You can see all of those there talking about Bro Force, talking about Trek to Yomi, both on uh, Webster Style YouTube as well as NRW YouTube. So all of that dropped uh, this week as well. Oh, and really fast. Did you hear that the, the portal is not going to have Bluetooth? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. We didn't cover that. Yeah, yeah. That's some absolute bullshit. <laughs> like, what's the point of having? But, a... Because they want you to buy their proprietary earbuds because they only do PlayStation Link. So they want you to pay an extra $150 to $200 for either the headphones or or the earbuds with PlayStation Link built in because oh, the portal okay. is only going to be wisely connectable with earbuds and headphones that are built with PlayStation Link. That's crazy. What? Right. Why do you? All right. What's well, conversation for another day? Because I don't understand it. Right. Right. That. Yep. Yeah. It. <laughs> capitalism. <laughs> no sense. Capitalism. Yeah, but then like. I mean, but that don't even even make sense from a capitalistic standpoint because I, you're trying to sell these things and they don't come equipped with the standard for audio connectivity. So, I, so if I'm riding in a car with a child that's playing, you know, via Wi-Fi or you know, hotspot or whatever, I just got to listen to the game because y'all don't want to. Well, you have a headphone jack. 
<laughs> my, the what? Now don't even make the headphones with jacks with 3.5 millimeters on them anymore. I know it's barely. That's crazy. It's I don't understand. I can understand you're trying to push your proprietary sort of technology. But you're looking at a device that, let's be frank, it's so bad that the the link, the headphones and the earbuds both come with USB adapters so you can plug that into your PlayStation 5 because that technology isn't built into your PlayStation 5. Oh, so it so comes with that about, so you can man. do it for that or your computer. But the fact that you don't have the wherewithal to put both into the portal that's all you got to do. Right. Put both in there. Just put your regular Bluetooth as well as your link crap in there. Look, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have been that. Look, I, I am not a, a engineer of any sorts. Of, I am not mechanical, circuit, anything. But I can only imagine that it wouldn't be hard to put, would have been hard to put regular Bluetooth in that thing. I mean. But that was a ploy to try to make people spend more money. That's all it was. And I saw someone 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 someone's podcast talked about how a very respected analyst suggested that the PlayStation portal would be lucky to get a 1% attach rate. Ah, then I'm I'm inclined to agree with whoever the gentleman is that said that or woman, I don't know the gender. I believe it was whoever a gentleman. Said, okay, yeah, whoever he said that, like, I can agree cuz like again I got a phone. I could pay what sixty, seven, eighty dollars to get the little backbone attachment and be done. Why would why would I spend extra on this portal if it don't it don't even connect to my headphones? Right. That's what I'm gonna need. That's what I need. All the these most. Bluetooth earbuds <laughs> laying around and they don't connect to near one. And that's crazy because the switch went through this exact same issue where it didn't it didn't have Bluetooth on it, so it couldn't connect to nothing. Because I don't even think there's a millimeter jack on there, if I'm not mistaken. But, there is. There is. But okay. the, the Switch did come out in, what, 2017, though? But still, they, but, no, they my turned point the corner is, and was like, let's put in something in there. Well, we got to right. do something. But, yeah, they, but Nintendo's Nintendo. Nintendo's mm -hmm. always done things ass backwards as far as that's concerned. Let's be <laughs> frank about it. They wanted right. you to talk through your phone and whatnot when the Switch came out. Like, Yeah. Really? But, but again... That. That's Nintendo. Not saying I give them a pass, but they've always had their own way of, of doing things with regards to how technology works. Mm -hmm. But they didn't push a proprietary technology and try to make you pay an extra $200 for a pair of earbuds to attach to the Switch. Where no other earbuds that you can buy from $5 to $200 will connect that you already own. So you have to go out and buy hours. And pay crazy. extra two hundred because it's our proprietary technology. Nintendo didn't do that. So they got the nerve to raise the price on PlayStation Plus. Y'all, you, you know, I thought about it too. I, I, listening to all of that, I know Xbox uh, Game Pass Unlimited. It went up from fourteen ninety nine to sixteen ninety nine. So that's two dollars. But that, yeah, that's as monthly. So that's the equivalent of what twenty four bucks. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but but this is this is the thing. This is why I always say that in my mind, I'm thinking that's still a better deal because with Game Pass Ultimate, I get Game Pass on my Xbox, I get Game Pass on PC, and I get cloud gaming to play on my phone if I want it. Meanwhile, so I feel like that's a like I'm well, first of all, I already told you I do my best not to pay for Xbox Live, um <laughs> Xbox un, um unlimited. As you should. Game Pass Unlimited. I, I do my mm -hmm. best every month. I'm racking my points up so I don't have to pay. I'm but I still feel like it's $16.99 a month or whatever it equates to in a year. Mm -hmm. You get, especially if you're somebody who utilizes it like that, you'll get your money's worth out of it. I get my money's worth out of it. Right. Hearing that PlayStation Plus all tiers are jumping by 33%. With no extra benefits, y'all don't even have cloud gaming, and, and don't want it. Really? After this, they could put me back on. Uh, give me the old PlayStation Plus back, and you don't have day one games. games. I can sit here and say, if I was paying sixty nine nine a month, I can sit here and say, 
I am happy with that because, or if you charge me an extra 33%, so you've charged me an extra 40 bucks. Okay. I know I'm playing Starfield day one next week. I can take solace in that. So I can say, you know what? That's the equivalent of me buying Starfield or something like that because of the, the extra perks of a game pass. The fact that Sony trying to do y'all dirty all the way around. And I don't understand <laughs> why. And I don't understand why. Because you you got we we buying the damn console. Look, let me this is exactly the conversation they had with the whole Activision thing. Since Sony was the market leader, Sony has no recourse for being consumer friendly because they got y'all by the balls. Listen. I'll cut this damn PlayStation off. <laughs> like, yeah, we got your money, fine. Brian. They we do have money. it. I think our man Brian got so caught up that he got frozen. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I'm froze. Yes. See, Sony is bothering. Yeah. Let's yeah. cut this because I don't understand what's going on. I'm skipping everything, Sony. You got my PlayStation money. I'm done. Oh boy. Oh boy. So Brian, okay, tell everybody where they can find you. Uh oh here. I would put my PlayStation thing, but I don't want to get them no shine right now. So just look me up on Instagram. Um, any other things that don't have nothing to do with PlayStation, you can find me on there. Probably TikTok, uh, YouTube, wherever else you like to participate in social media. X. Um threads but my playstation username is cut off until <laughs> where can they find you uh, all these well, places i will give microsoft some shine so you can find me on Xbox <laughs> hawks the number two if you want to add me as a friend i'm getting a lot of people because other people using my account for minecraft lately so a bunch of <laughs> randoms are adding me um to xbox but i'm on xbox all day, every day. You can find me over on Twitter, Instagram, Webster Style. Also on, on Instagram, you can find me as Sotolio and Geek. You can find me on TikTok at underscore Webster Style. And of course, you can find everything and anything that is Webster Style. You can find at WebsterStyle.com. You're currently with Nerds with the World. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, X, whatever Elon wants to call it on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Heck, whatever he wants to call it. He owns it. Um, you can find us <laughs> over there at the NRW on Instagram. You know, Zuckerberg uh right headed stepchild at the at at new release wednesday not the mm -hmm. new release is new release <laughs> wednesday and of course you're currently on youtube so make sure you like share and subscribe